Previously in the fifth episode, Liger is slowly getting out of the dirt by hardly making some profits. One key profit. Also, Liger was getting targeted by some botter. Will you be dead, Liger? Gladiator TF. Oh my god, the other guy that's impersonating me, he sent him a false trade offer. But even though with all the trouble he's having, he's continuing anyway. In the previous episode, I said that I'm gonna continue and make profits no matter what. Alright, so in this trade, I finally got rid from the two most annoying unusuals I bought. Initially when I bought them, they were good, but when Gladiator shut down, they like came hella bad. So I sold this and this, plus 5 keys and a half pure for this one. So this one has only one buy order at 7 and two buy orders at 5 keys. Sometimes these two buy orders like are not here and only one buy order at 5 keys stays in here. So this was so annoying. It looked like super bad to sell. I mean, look at this. The other bot is gone already. You see this? This one used to have like buy orders at 7.8 keys and no sell orders. But now all the buy orders at 7 keys, right? And this bot popped in here at top and a half keys. What I initially paid for those two initials, this one 8 keys and this one 8 keys. That's 16 keys. And I add five and a half keys in pure totally i'm paying 21 and a half keys if we were to take a look into his unusual i mean look how healthy it is there is a bot buying at 20 keys and i paid 21 and a half keys but if we were to look at scn scn pays even more scn pays like 21 keys right and sells at 36 when it has it on stock so i got tons of range to profit on this unusual comparing to these two that I had almost no range to profit on at all, especially that I got them both for eight keys. So 21 and a half keys is like a half key over the STM by order, which is super good. Yeah, not a bad unusual at all, dude. It definitely can sell for a good amount of profit. All right, so now we are left with these unusuals. All of them dropped hard in buy order, so I'll try my best to make profit out of those. I might just resell them for uh, the prices I initially bought for, or maybe even take some losses, because I'm gonna be waiting for a long time if I don't, and 100 keys in pure, and about tariff fines to the next trade. And on this trade, I'm reselling my uh, spy unusual that I initially got for uh, 10 keys. I'm reselling it for 10 keys and a half. That's a half key profit. The reason I'm doing this is because the buy orders, they went nuts, dude. Every buy order just cancelled and I'm only left with this one. It's a decent spy misc. Uh, I paid 10 keys for it initially. I was hoping to sell it for at least one key profit, but since Gladiator just shut down like this, um, yeah, I, I'll just take this half key profit on this trade. Um, so here we go. We got now 109 keys and about a half key in those refined metals. Besides this in jewels that we got to sell still. I don't know how I made it out of that and sold most of them. This one that are left here are the hardest though because I paid a lot for them and the buy orders hella dropped. Um, I'll see if I can sell those. And to the next trade. Bro, I tried to trade with this guy. I tried to sell him my unusual but he said he's not interested. He said, he said, we're here is a giveaway for you. Super generous YMC call, thank you a lot. Um, so recently guys, I lost my side hustle and now I'm dedicating my free time to make videos. It would mean a lot for me if you guys can support me. So it inspires me into making more videos. My trade link is in the description below. And with that being said, let's go back to the trades. All right, and on this trade, I'm selling my unusual that I got for the mix offer. So initially I got this unusual for my two unusuals plus five keys and a half. I mean, I paid eight keys for this unusual and another eight keys for this unusual, which is 16 keys plus five and a half. That's 21 and a half. And now I just sold this for 22 and a half, which is a one key profit. Uh, this is really good because both of these unusuals dropped in prices. Uh, from the buy order side so they were super hard to sell for a profit and now since i upgraded to this i made one key profit which is really good so here is how we're looking now all of these unusuals plus 142 keys with about tariff finds all right and on this trade 
I'm buying this terror watt unusual for 14 keys if you were to look into buy orders um, the highest buy order is at 12 and a half this guy that I'm buying it from is sitting at 18 keys um, but if we look into STN they pay in 14 and a half for it so that's instantly a half key profit if I sell to STN but I'm gonna look into trading server see if I can squeeze a little bit more out of this and there we go we just got the unusual about time I removed this chieftain's name dude not looking bad at all so recently I got into unusual weapons trading it's all thanks to this guy dude he saw my videos and he was like why don't you get into unusual weapons trading I had no idea how to like make profit in them he came into me and gave me some tips yeah now I got into unusual weapon trading so I bought these two I really don't know what am I doing yet um i'm still getting experienced he's guiding me for now especially for the deals that i got to take and the deals i got to avoid um i think once i'm experienced enough i'm gonna drop a separate video uh, talking about unusual weapons trading and um, for now i'm just listening to him and trying to get experienced so i got these two very sick unusual weapons all right this cool scattergun and this cool rocket launcher and guess how much i paid for this too yeah your eyes aren't deceiving you like i paid 110 keys plus this unusual which i paid 10.5 keys for so that's 120.5 keys in total the guy i got this unusuals from said he wants like something on top of the keys so i gave him this one because it was hard to sell since i paid a lot for it um, so yeah, for now I bought these two guns for 120.5 keys in game, dude. They look sick. Look at this. It's really themed with the effect as well. And just here is the scout gun. And yeah, here is everything I have. And here are the keys I got. So I was looking so hard for a buyer at 15.5 keys for this unusual that I paid that I paid 14 keys pure for. Um, couldn't buy 15.5 keys, so I just sold it to this guy at uh, 15 keys, and that's one key profit. I really tried to get a half extra, but couldn't, so I just take this trade. And here we go, just got the keys. Not bad at all. Um, besides this eight keys in here to the next trade oh my god dude i can't believe i finally got rid from one of the worst unusuals that dropped in buy offers i was looking for mix offers and i saw this guy so i initially bought this one for ten and a half keys right look at this hat now dude i paid ten and a half keys for this like it's so bad right now yeah the only way was to get mix offers so i traded this guy and started offering on his unusual he wanted 13 and a half keys so i said i got a seller at 12 keys i can do a key and a half extra for 13 and a half and he said yes so my unusual i got this thing for 10 and a half keys plus a key and a half that's 11 keys so that's 12 keys uh, i mean so magically somehow I'm matching this guy on the buy orders um yeah so it should sell for more i think so technically i bought this unusual at 12 keys uh, let's see if we can make profit of that i'm just happy that i got rid of my old unusual that's all this unusual that i just got is an all class unusual which is always very nice to have and i withdraw my other soldier unusual maybe i can sell it for mixed offers as well yeah not the best hat but yeah so now here is everything i have these items besides these two weapons this towering unusual plus 21 keys and a half if you are interested in further videos like this one make sure to check my channel out also drop a like and subscribe that would be highly appreciated and peace